In Focus on Your Health, Teresa Snow explains the journey of a micro preemie. Focus on Your Health is sponsored by MU Healthcare. Born at 26 weeks or earlier, the future for a micro preemie can be uncertain. It takes a team of specialists to guide their first few months of life. Meet a family finding new reasons to be thankful this year after finally welcoming their baby home. She's a fighter. Even surrounded by monitors and pumps, Joy Day's spirit shines through. She's uh, feisty. She reminds me of my mom and her side of the family. Joy has needed every bit of that spunk. Her parents, JP and Amber, and their three children were serving as missionaries in the country of Jordan when Amber's water broke 17 weeks into her pregnancy. The family returned to Amber's childhood home near Columbia and specialized care at MU Healthcare's Women's and Children's Hospital. I remember you know, going to the operating room thinking there's no way she could make it. Joy arrived soon after, weighing two pounds and one ounce. She was very sick. Uh, she was not able to breathe herself effectively. Born February 2nd at just 25 weeks, a baby is considered full term at 40 weeks. Joy was considered a micro preemie. Her lungs hadn't properly developed, and even now she's unable to breathe on her own. She had holes in her lungs that required chest tubes to keep her lungs uh, open. <laughs> But after nine months of care from a team of neonatal doctors, nurses, and therapists, Joy is headed home. Even though it's been a long journey, we've just been so thankful that she's with us still. I'm just going to cry. Saying goodbye can be bittersweet, but these hugs are happy ones. We've made so many friends with the doctors and the nurses, and um, yeah, we've just been so blessed. As the days leave hospital life behind and head home together, this Thanksgiving will be the best yet. Joining me now is Dr. John Pardalis, Medical Director at the Neonatal Intensive Care Unit at MU Healthcare. What an encouraging story. What does the future look like for Joy? Will her lungs continue to develop? Hopefully her lungs will continue to develop. All babies continue to grow new lung tissue until they're about seven or eight. So as long as we can keep her from getting sick and having any major setbacks where she gets an infection in her lungs, hopefully she'll only get better from here. How common is this to have a micro preemie, someone who stays so long in the NICU? Each year we get about maybe 25, 30 babies that are less than 27 weeks gestation. Um, and so they stay with us until, uh, we tell the parents at least until their due date, but the smaller they are, they tend to stay with us a lot longer. There's so many needs for both the family and the baby. Tell me about the team that works at Women's and Children. We have a multidisciplinary team. Um, so we have the bedside nurse, uh, we have a respiratory therapist that's there at all times. Uh, our team of, of healthcare providers, the, the doctors, the nurse practitioners, the residents, the medical students, we'll round with them uh, every day and see all the babies. And with this, we also have a pediatric um, pharmacist and a pediatric dietitian. And social workers to work with the families as well. Yes. So we have um, a couple of medical social workers that just stay in our NICU and take care of all the needs of our patients. We're so glad you're here. Thank you very much, Dr. Thank John you. Pardalis. And with Focus on Your Health, I'm Teresa Snow. Focus on Your Health has been sponsored by MU Healthcare.